If uh, the budget defense session will be able to address you and give you the highlights. Uh, so, my distinguished colleagues, and Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Justice, heads of agencies and principal functionaries of government here present, gentlemen of the press, I begin by congratulating the Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Justice on your confirmation with the National Honors Award of Commander of the Order of the Niger. And uh, I also want to, on behalf of our committee, congratulate the new Solicitor General and Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, uh, Mrs. Beatrice Jedi Agba, who is um, having her official engagement with us for the first time today. Uh, in congratulating you, I want to say that uh, those who know you well in service uh, will say that there's a, 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 there's a reputation that precedes you as a hardworking civil servant. And uh, so it didn't come to us as a surprise. And I want to say that the Honorable Attorney General has been lucky all through in the last uh, eight years to have uh, always some of the best working with him in his ministry as permanent secretary and directors. Uh, accept our congratulations. As you are all aware, President Mohamed Buhari, GCFR, on Friday, 7th October 2022, presented before the joint sitting of the National Assembly, the 2023 National Budget, in line with Section 81, Subsection 1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as altered. Thereafter, the Senate deliberated on the general principles of the appropriation bill and resolved to refer it to standing committees for further legislative action. And the standing committees being subcommittees under the Appropriations Committee for the purpose of consideration of money bills are expected to carry out a thorough and painstaking budget defense exercise and report back to the Senate accordingly. It is noteworthy to say that the Senate suspended its plenary sittings in view of the importance of this legislative exercise. This is to enable standing committees embark on legislative oversight responsibility visits to ministries, departments, and agencies for the purpose of appraising the implementation and performance of the 2022 Appropriation Act in order to pave way for budget defense exercise. However, in our bid to keep to the time frame within which the committee is expected to report back to the Senate Appropriation Committee, we resolve to hold the budget defense sessions before the oversight function, which shall be carried out before the passage of the budget by the National Assembly. Having said that, I we to state that the 2023 budget estimates for the Federal Ministry of Justice and its parastatal agencies, as contained in the appropriation bill before the National Assembly, is 71 billion, 291 million, and 12,971 naira only. Kindly note that this total sum is inclusive of the allocations to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency which is not an agency under the jurisdiction, the oversight jurisdiction of this committee. Also, the statutory transfer to the National Human Rights Commission, which is an independent statutory body and not one of the agencies under the Federal Ministry of Justice, is included in the sum. Therefore, the actual budgetary proposal for the Ministry of Justice and its parastatals that concern this committee with respect to today's exercise, after deducting allocation to the aforesaid institutions, is 26 billion, 660 million, 703,500.
513 Naira only. After deducting the allocations to the NDLEA, which is 40 billion, 130 million, 390, and 309,458 Naira only, as well as the National Human Rights Commission's allocation, which is 4 billion, 500,000 Naira only. Uh, 500, yes, 4, 4 billion, 500,000 Naira only. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you and uh, I give a quick uh, uh, rundown of uh, the summary of our own budget analysis. Below are the comparative analysis of the 2022 budgetary allocation against the 2023 budget proposals as per the MDAs under the Federal Ministry of Justice. The headquarters itself, Federal Ministry of Justice, total allocation for 2022 budget was 16 billion 210 million 887 uh, Naira, Naira, 398 only. While for 2023 estimates, we have 11 billion 592 million 866,851 Naira only, signaling a reduction by 4 billion 618 million 20,547 Naira. For their recurrent was 8.8 .8 billion in 2022 and 8.6 billion in 2023 being proposed, meaning a reduction of 171 million 940,487 Naira. And then capital, um, 7.4 billion. And for 2023, 2.9 billion, um, signaling a reduction of 4.4 billion uh, Naira only. And of course, this goes to suggest that uh, uh, even the Office of the Attorney General is also feeling the crunch and probably not as. Uh, invincible as uh, a lot of people would assume. Uh, but I guess this is the general trend in the budget consistent with our current realities in the country. For the Nigerian Law Reform Commission, uh, total budget last year was, for 2022, was 595,606,798 Naira. And for 2023, is 530 million 215,651 Naira, uh, signaling a reduction by 65 million 391,147 Naira. For Legal Aid Council, total allocation for 2022 a budget 1 billion 362 million 914,804 Naira. And for 2023, 1,490,010,921 Naira, signaling an increase by 127,096,107 Naira. Of course, going by the rising uh, implication and rising demand on the work done by Legal Aid Council. For Council of Legal Education, for 2022, it was a budgetary allocation of 2 billion, 750 million, 501,821 Naira. And then for 2023 budget estimates, a sum of 10 billion, 12 million, 925,663 Naira is being proposed, uh, which signals an increase by 7,262,423 uh, uh, Naira only. 
Again, anyone who is familiar with the situation of the Nigerian law school uh, will not be surprised by this uh, little increase. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, even in spite of that, we know it is not yet Uhuru, uh, but we want to thank all the stakeholders, including the Attorney General and uh, members of our committee, and most especially um, Mr. President, uh, in ensuring that at least this little uh, increase uh, is considered to be able to improve on the very devastating and, and embarrassing situation of the Nigerian law school. Um, then, of course, the Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies. Uh, the total allocation in the 2022 budget was 1 billion and 12 million, 120,000 and 26 naira, while for 2023 budget estimates is a sum of 1 billion 329 million, 633,458 naira only signaling an increase of 307,513,432 uh, Naira. Nigerian Copyright Commission, total allocation in the 2022 budget was 1,740,635,684 Naira only, while in 2023 uh, budget estimates, it's a sum of 1 billion, 576 million, 857,797 Naira only, signaling a reduction by 163 million, 777,887 Naira only. And finally, uh, for Regional Center for International Commercial Arbitration. Total allocation in the 2022 budget was 147,289,699 Naira. And in 2023 budget estimates, 128,193,172 uh, Naira was uh, is being proposed again signaling a reduction by 19 million 96 thousand and 527 uh, naira uh, this is the summary of our analysis of the budget of the ministry uh, and at this point let me once again uh, welcome all of you and thank our distinguished colleagues, uh, members of this committee, uh, virtually every one of whom is also chairman of at least uh, one other committee, and uh, this is a very busy uh, period for us, so I appreciate the fact that they all made out time, and uh, uh, Honorable Attorney General, you called earlier, you wanted to be here at 10, and uh, we told you it wasn't 10, it was 11 a.m., um, and uh, Eventually, when you left, and some of our colleagues also uh, were on their way, there was a very ter uh, terrific uh, traffic, uh, which was why we couldn't start exactly at 11 a.m. Uh, but I, I appreciate the fact that all our colleagues are here. Uh, Senator Suzwan called in to say, uh, both himself and the deputy chairman of our committee, Senator Akajev, uh, just finished a program in Makodi, and they left by road this morning. So as we speak, they are on the road. But whether they meet us in session or not, uh, it's our prayer that by God's grace they get here uh, in peace. And um, at this point, uh, I don't know. Okay, I think one of our